I'm going to do a quick tutorial on the quick access toolbar and what that is is that is the icons that are by default up here and the first thing that you may want to do it's something that I actually choose to do I've reset all of my quick access toolbar customization to what is defaulted when you're in Word before you even make any changes so that you can see how to do this and I've taken off all of the icons that I formerly had on it and I'll just redo them. So to get this quick access toolbar to be closer to your workspace which makes more sense to have it closer to your workspace because then it'll be handier you click on this triangle and you say show below the ribbon and you'll notice that it's now down below here which is fantastic because it's closer to your workspace and you'll have easier access to it so basically what it is is when you look up here in word you have all these tabs that have different tools in them for you to work with so instead of having to um, i'm going to be dealing with tables and i know that that is under insert so instead of having to click on table <coughs> excuse me insert and table then you can actually make a toolbar with your quick access toolbar so that it's right here handy and the other thing is that instead of using your mouse if you're a fast keyboardist you can use what's called quick keys and if you press your alt key and hold it down you'll notice that net we now have boxes underneath each of the items with a letter under it so if I want it to go to insert I would press N and it now takes me into insert and you'll notice that each item that is under insert now has a letter under it as well so if you wanted to insert a table you could just type T and here you are with the dialog box for creating a table so I would say I which is right here for insert table or if I wanted to draw one I could do D if I wanted to make an Excel spreadsheet I could use X or I could use quick tables and select one of the tables that Word has within their templates so I don't want to do that um, because I'm just dealing with the quick access toolbar at this point I just wanted to show you the sense in doing it this way so that you don't have to click through each of the tabs up at the top because by default you're always in home and so you don't get to see all of the to tools that are available within your document underneath each of these tabs so basically the best thing to do is to bring all of the tools to your quick access toolbar that are unique to you to the, your kind of work so to do that, um, today, uh, just for this tutorial, I'm just going to deal with tables. But you'll get the idea and you'll know what I mean once we get into how to do that. So you click on the triangle and you say more commands. And what this does is this brings up a box. And on the right hand side here are the items that are right now by default in your quick access toolbar. So there was save, undo and redo. So what I'm going to do, like I said, is I'm going to deal with the t some table quick access tools into the toolbar. You'll notice here you s it says choose commands from. There's popular commands. If you click on this down arrow, then you'll see there's commands not in the ribbon. And if you click on that, it'll give you a whole pile of tools that are available to you that are not in the ribbon that you can make add over here to your quick access toolbar which will then show up on our document just above our workspace there's an all commands which is all of the commands they're all alphabetical so if you're looking for one you'll be able to find it with these you can add your macros that you record I don't have any recorded right now but I will do, be doing some tutorials on how to do that and then there's also the home tab the insert tab and now these are all the tabs that I just showed you previously and if you remember the table was under the insert tab so I'm just going to click on insert and that's going to show me everything that every tool that is under that insert tab 
in the word document. So I was dealing with, like I said, inserting a table. So if you scroll down here, you'll see insert table here. But I know that I'm going to want to have the dialog box with more options so that I can customize my table. You'll notice that it, some of these have a triangle by them. That means that there's more options to deal with that tool. So I'm going to find the table tool that has the triangle here because I know that that's going to allow me to do a drop down box. So I highlight the tool that I want to add in here and I say add. And now it's here and if you say OK, you click here on the quick access toolbar where it says tables and you'll notice that I have access to inserting a table and if you click on table now you have the drop down box to insert the table and to customize anything that you want so if I say insert table this dialog box is going to come up and it's going to ask me how many columns how many rows and um, I'll get into this, I'll do a separate tutorial for ta tables, but then I would just say OK and there I have a table inserted. So one of the things that I know that I always like to do is have borders around my table and also to have some shady. So I'm going to want that in my quick access toolbar as well. So I'm going to go in here again to more commands. And I'm going to click here because it has defaulted back to popular commands. Okay, so we're in the insert tab right now to insert the table, but I know that the borders and shading is actually in the table tools layout um, and design. So I'm going to click on the design and it makes sense when you're making your customizing that you put things beside each other. So here's the borders and shading. But as I said, I want the one that has the triangle that will give me more options to customize. So I'm going to add that on into there. And now I'll say OK. And we'll now see that we have the option here for borders and shading. OK, so if you click on that, then you'll see here we have an option to do borders a page border and some shading. Okay, so that's basically what you want to do. You want to actually go into the more commands and figure out what you want to have as your custom toolbar tools close to your workstation according to how you utilize Word. And the best thing that I can say to do is if you find that you use a lot of items underneath the insert tab go through it, look through it, and, and pick the tools that you use often. And always look for the items that have the triangle on them because that means that you're going to have more options to customize when you have that in your toolbar. So another thing I want to point out is a fast way to get to these toolbars without using the mouse. Any of these tools that are on your quick access toolbar is to press the Alt key. And now what happens is you'll get the little white boxes. And so if I wanted to use borders and shading, just a second, first I'm just going to show you. If I um, select my table and I want to do some borders and shading, now I press number five and then I press O, which is the letter beside borders and shading. You can see right here, this O. So, but I, I'm not going to take my hands off my keyboard when I'm creating things because I'm a fast typist. So I'm just going to type O. So Alt B will get you into the borders table and then you can use the up and down arrows to basically go to the setting. I want to do a grid and I also want to style it differently. So you'll notice over here under style, there's an underlined letter Y. So I'm going to press the letter Y so that I can get into style. Then I'm going to use my up and down arrow keys and I'm going to find the table border that I like. I usually generally use these ones. I tend to like them. So I'm just going to 
select the one I want to use, press OK, and voila, my table now has a border around it. So that's what the quick access toolbar is. Basically, it's so that you can customize the tools of your choice so that they're very handy without you having to take your hands off the keyboard and click into these items. And um, if you're a mouser, that is, you can just mouse onto the tools as they are in the quick access toolbar. Or as I explained, you can use your alt key and then the little white box, whatever letter is in the little white box by the tool that you want to use. So I hope that helps someone.